Hey, what's up guys? Zestrin here. So, there was a Nintendo Direct Mini, as they called it, this morning that I did not know about until I woke up because Nintendo did not actually announce the thing as far as I'm aware of. All I know is that yesterday they kept, like, tweeting random images and things, and um, then I woke up and there was a Nintendo Direct. And I'm like, oh, okay. It was only like 11 minutes long, as they call it, as I, eh, as I said, it was only a Nintendo Direct Mini, as they called it. And, um, yeah, ignore the McDonald's cup in the background there. But so, it, um, lost my train of thought there. But so, it was only like 11 minutes long, but we got a good good chunk of announcements all for games coming out this year. So, the first announcement we got of this thing was The World Ends With You Final Remix. Now, I have never played The World Ends With You, but it was a DS game made by Square Enix. And it's like a music RPG thing. I'm not quite sure exactly what it is. The most I know about The World Ends With You is... It has characters in Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, and that's the most I know about it. So, yeah, but uh, it seems like a cool like rhythm RPG type game, and uh, I might I might play it. And it has two different modes: uh, you can use touch controls, or you can use the Joy-Con and like motion control, which is cool. I would want it in like regular non-motion or touch control, but the game was designed with touch control, so they, I guess they you know it would have to be played that way so that's just the reality of life sometimes next up they talked about pokemon tournament deluxe poc no pocket tournament deluxe dlc which they have new fighter pokemon uh Ega slash which is like a sword and shield looking pokemon which i don't know which game that's from i've never seen it before until this trailer and also blastoise as fighter pokemon then uh, as a cis pokemon mew and some other pokemon i forget i'm not too familiar with pokemon but um, it's pretty cool. They showed a new trailer for Kirby uh, Star Allies, which looks neat. I like Kirby games. I've really played. The only Kirby game I've really played and beat was uh, Squeak Squad, I think it was, on DS. I had a lot of fun with that game. And uh, I like Kirby. Kirby's fun. Easy. Um, they're really kid-friendly, but uh, that's okay. It's Nintendo, you know. One of the coolest things ever. Well, not coolest things ever, really. But one of the coolest things at this announcement, I guess, is that Hyrule Warriors is coming to Switch. It's awesome because I really love that game. I bought Fire Emblem Warriors because I was hoping it would be I would get into it like that. I'm not really a Fire Emblem fan though because I don't really like strategy games, so I didn't really get into it as much as I hoped I would. But I really liked Hyrule Warriors a lot. So this is gonna be cool. It's gonna have all the DLC and everything that the Wii U and 3DS version offered all built into one package, and that's cool. But uh, it just looks like the same game, but uh on Switch now, which is awesome, because I'm definitely going to play the hell out of that, because I played the hell out of that in Wii U. So, looking forward to that. New Mario Tennis game, Mario Tennis Aces. Uh, I'm going to Switch. Um, I was surprised, because they had Mario Tennis, uh, whatever that Wii U one of those bad, apparently. I never played it. I wanted to, but I never did. But I remember when that came out, and I was like, wow, this is like really bad. That was like when Nintendo, it was like right when the Wii U was like officially done. It was already, NX was out there, but it wasn't switched yet. And they kept coming out with these games just because they had to, but a lot of stuff probably moved over development to the Switch. Whatever the case may be, but that game was, turned out turn to be good. So they're coming out with a new one. And it looks, looks cool because I've played some Mario Tennis. I played the N64 one. I played the 3DS one. And uh, this one looks cool. Um, but it has like a story mode, which looks nice. Um, something to do besides just multiplayer, uh, which is always cool. Like I always hate games. That have nothing to offer for single player use because I don't always have someone to play games with. I'm usually just by myself, even if it's just like multiplayer modes, but it's like you're playing against a computer. So those get, that gets boring. It's just the same thing over and over and over and over and over. So yeah, that's all I have to say about this. East 8, I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, looks like a cool like action RPG. I've never heard of East, um, but it looks, this trailer to the show looks interesting. I'm definitely interested in playing it. Um, but that's pretty much all to say. It just looks like a cool action RPG. So there, the next update or news story thing here you want to talk about. They're adding a free update to Super Mario Odyssey. It's called Luigi's Balloon World. Um, and basically, it's a free update that after you beat the main story, um, you can find Luigi. And the trailer does show a new Donk City, but um, I, maybe in other worlds as well. Yeah, because it showed it around in other worlds. So you just find Luigi. And basically, there's two modes. You got to hide the. You get 30 seconds to hide a balloon. And then other people got to find it. And then there's another one. We got to go find the balloon. So you got 30 seconds to go find the balloon. And you get rankings and points. 
that mode doesn't really look that interesting to me, but it's basically like people who have mastered the game know every nook and cranny of the world so they can go and do things and whatever. Um, I was very bad at explaining that, but it looks like it can be a fun mode for people who care. I don't, but uh, other people sure will. And um, I'm glad Luigi's in the game. <laughs> Luigi never gives any love anymore. Then also they're adding with this free update, they're adding more um, photo mode, whatever the hell they called it. Um, filters and uh, more costumes for Mario, which is cool. And that's about it for a free update. So yeah, nice. Uh, a tag team fighting game, SNK's Heroines Tag Team Frenzy, which is like a fighting game with ladies. I don't really know anything about this property, but that's basically what it is. And then they also, uh, the Art of Fighting 2, whatever's coming to Switch as an arcade archives or whatever, Neo Geo, whatever. So that's a... Uh, cool uh dlc coming to mario plus rabbits uh donkey kong um which i kind of saw i think everyone saw coming because they had that giant donkey kong rabbit in the in the original trailer like e3 or whatever it was so uh that's cool uh not really i still haven't played mario plus rabbits i want to i just haven't got around to playing it just because i have so much stuff i need to play or want to play and do and whatnot so um yeah i'll get to it eventually but well, that's all I have to say. You know, it's Donkey Kong. I like Donkey Kong. Uh, I showed a new trailer for Payday 2. Whatever. It's uh, Payday 2. I've, I've only played a little bit of Payday 1. Never played Payday 2. But uh, if you like that kind of game, it's coming to Switch. That's all I really need to know. The game Faye that I remember e EA talking about like two E3s ago. Uh, it's coming to Switch. And uh, that's cool. Um, it's like a 3D platformer, which um, they're kind of making a comeback. It looks kind of different. Um, it's apparently got some... It sounds like, I don't think it is, but it sounds like it's an Switch exclusive, by the way, they were talking about the HD Rumble and stuff like that, but maybe the developers took the Switch to mind and added features, taking advantage of some Switch features like the HD Rumble and other stuff like that, so it looks like an interesting game. Um, I'll probably play it, um, but that's all I really have to say on that. Uh, this game called Celeste, which is like a really hard action platformer. I don't care. I don't really like that genre, so if you do, good for you. I don't, so next. Um, so, yeah, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze coming to Switch, which I think it's great, along with Hyrule Warriors. Um, they're kind of porting their Wii U library over to Switch, which is a good idea because the Wii U, despite, you know, it's, it's a failure. Like, it didn't sell very well. The Switch is already outsold, I believe. So, Wii U has really has a lot of really great games. So, the more of those games they can get on the Switch, which is a bigger audience and more people willing to buy games on it, great. Because... The, that would suck for those games to be stuck on that platform that nobody wanted. And no, like, pff, nobody, I, I have a Wii U still. I'm not going to get rid of it. I don't get rid of hardware. But, um, yeah, it, it, all these games got released on this platform. You know, it sucks. So they come to Switch, a much more successful platform. That's great. Um, I think what they should have done, because it's part of a series, I mean, it's only the second one in the series, but they should have had, like, a, they should have had Donkey Kong Country Returns in there as well, just because, you know, why not? Um, but whatever. So, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze coming to Wii U, uh, or Switch, rather. Uh, it's the same game, except now I have, you can play Funky Kong, and it's like an easy mode, because uh, he can pretty much just defeat enemies with ease and not die on spikes and whatever. Um, so, that's cool. Um, I never played Tropical Freeze. I played Returns 3D on 3DS, but uh, not Return or Tropical Freeze. So, look forward to this. And then the last thing they showed, which is not a Switch exclusive from what I know of. It wouldn't really make sense if it was. But Dark Souls Remastered is coming to Switch, which is cool for those people who like them brutally hard Dark Souls and Bloodborne type games. I do not. The only one I've really played is Bloodborne, and I could not even make it to the first boss. And I just like, nope, not really into being just dying and dying and dying and dying and dying and dying. I'm not saying I like games easy so I can just run through them, but I don't like it so difficult that I can't even progress at all. But that's just me. But if you like those type of games, good for you. I don't care. You can like whatever you want, honestly. It doesn't really matter. It's what you want to play, not what I want to play. But, uh, so yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. And I just, you know, it's not a game, again, it's not a game I care about, but hooray for Nintendo getting all these uh, third-party um, support with all these games, you know, it's like, more games coming to Switch that are not just Nintendo games, the more viable it becomes for people who to want to buy a Switch because they're like, well, I mean, I like Mario or Zelda, but I don't like Kirby or Fire Emblem or whatever 
else Nintendo has to offer. Um, it's, oh, wait, they got Dark Souls and they got Payday and they got Doom and Wolfenstein and, and, and FIFA and, and whatever. So I was like, hmm, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll get this so I can have something to play when I'm not home and, and stuff like that. And that's great. And that, that's going to help Nintendo a lot. And, and I'm glad to see the Switch is succeeding. Again, the Switch is not necessarily what I wanted in a new Nintendo console, but, you know, I'm glad it, it's out. I'm glad it exists. It's still kind of lackluster in features at the moment, but, you know, I, I use it here and there. But um, Mario Odyssey was great. That's all I really have to say about the Switch right now. But, uh, yeah, that was the entire Nintendo Direct Mini. Uh, I really wish that I knew it was happening, so I would have woke up earlier to watch it. I woke up like an hour after it happened. And, uh, yeah, but uh, it was nice. Um, it was cool getting some announcements. It was weird. Nintendo was, like, teasing it for, like, days and tweeting weird pictures yesterday, but didn't have anything to do with it. Like, the picture of Chibi Robo on fire had nothing to do with the Direct today, so I don't know what the what the hell that was about. But uh, Nintendo is a, Nintendo's a weird, weird, uh, weird beast. But, uh, yeah. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. So if you like it, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please go over to my Let's Play channel, Zeno Plays, and do the same there. I would highly appreciate it. And, um, yeah, that's it for this video. And, um, yeah, I can't outro very well, as you can plainly tell. So see you guys next time. Bye.